Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex here from Simple Mods and welcome back to another video. I'm doing something a little bit different today, which is taking you guys through my new desk setup and sort of my workplace here and all of the gear that I'm using. And I've recently um, just finished setting up some new stuff. So I'll take you guys back to the start on how it was and what I did to get it the way it is right now. So let's check it out. Here was my previous setup, not that much different. I'm still keeping things pretty simple. However, I just want a little bit more space on the desk. Plus I've installed some sweet new gear. You'll see I'm currently using my Tempest Rebuild case mod in the Cooler Master Master Case Maker 5T as my daily rig. Not much has changed since the last video I did on this build, so I'll link it down in the video description if anyone is keen to check it out. I am in the process of rebuilding my main rig, Project Shady, in the N1D Frame Mini, and I will have a video on that build in the process later on. I'm just waiting for some few more parts to arrive at the moment. Behind the Tempest build, I've got the Game of Thrones themed server, which I've put together a couple of years ago, and it's still going very strong with the eight 10 terabyte Seagate Ironwolf hard drives that I have in there. However, I'm also pulling this build apart soon and rebuilding it as well in a more friendly server case. And I'm also thinking of putting it in my closet just to save a bit more space on the desk. So stay tuned for yet another video on that build. And the monitor I've got is the 34 inch uh, ultra wide ROG PG348Q. Uh, along with my set of Corsair peripherals, MX Silent Strafe keyboard along with the M65 RGB mouse, plus my Audio-Technica headphones, Google Home Mini that I keep on my desk, and the Silhouette Cameo vinyl plotter that I use on pretty much all of my case mods, so I keep it on hand next to my PC as I use it quite often. So you'll see my AverMedia mic as well, uh, which is also now getting replaced. And these are all the new bits that I'm adding to my setup, but I've had to tear down everything first as I'm also installing new tables as well. So let's check that out. First new piece of gear that I'm installing is the Aorus AD27QD Tactical Gaming Monitor from Gigabyte Aorus. This is actually the very first Aorus monitor that came out, so I'm excited to have a play with it. The AD27QD is a 27 inch panel, 2560 by 1440 uh, resolution, 10 bits IPS, 144 hertz refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time, HDR400 and it comes with AMD FreeSync technology. However, it is also officially certified by NVIDIA as a G-Sync compatible monitor, which I've had no trouble using over the last few weeks since setting up this new desk. I'll have a link to find out more about it if you're interested down in the video description. The second new piece of gear that I'm excited about is the Blue Designs Yeti Caster Microphone Bundle which comes with the very popular Blue Yeti Microphone and also their Compass Premium 
microphone boom arm which works very well with internal springs and some neat built-in cable management options. I've attached this directly to the desk just behind my rig which I can easily pull out every time I need to use it. Finally, Audio Engine provided their A2 Plus wireless premium powered speaker system which I've been loving ever since getting it set up. I've been using mostly my headphones and sometimes the built-in speakers from the monitor so it's definitely great to have an awesome set of desk speakers to complement my setup. And I've been actually been very impressed by these two small speakers. They definitely have a great punch for the size and I can only imagine how nice they would sound paired with the Audio Engine S8 subwoofer which I'm thinking of perhaps adding in later on. You'll find links in the video description uh, if you'd like to find out more about the Audio Engine A2 Plus wireless speakers and also their S8 sub plus the Blue Yeti Caster mic will be in there as well. To complete the desk setup I've installed these IKEA table trays or whatever you want to call them uh, that you can simply screw from under the desk to keep all of your cabling mess out of sight. They're super handy and I've got two installed. They're called Signum and I'll link these uh, on the IKEA website in the video description as well if anyone is interested and you don't already know about these. So the only cables that I have running on the floor are the power extension cables and boards that I need for my filming and building bench which is right next uh, to my desk on the left hand side and again it's an IKEA top just like the table tops on my desk as well. They're called Linman and they come in different sizes and color finishes so I'll link these in the description as well. I've got the bench top mounted on a motorized sit down stand up frame to make things easier depending on what build I'm working on or whatever I'm doing uh, and also yeah here's a sneak peek at the next upcoming project that's currently sitting on the bench. All right, so there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to say a huge thanks to Gear Seekers. Nick was kind enough to provide the dual monitor arm for my new setup. And also a huge shout out to Aorus, Blue Designs, and Audio Engine for the new gear. Um, so drop us a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.